Well, uh, getting back to the Roswell fraud situation, no matter however you want to describe it. Um, I'm not going to make that video that I stated. I think that the previous clip I stated enough and it affects me too much. Uh, things are somewhat slow in the ufology community, uh, at least things that are coming across our way. And I have found uh, an interesting site called UFO Leaks. <laughs> hey, out of the first story here. <laughs> oh, man. People do anything these days to get disability insurance. Top secret government investigation probed health effects of UFO encounters. <laughs> this classified study was called the Advanced Aerospace Threat and Identification Program, AATIP, and investigated mysterious aircraft and other unexplained phenomena. Now it's been claimed that AATIP explored the health consequences suffered by the people who witnessed the UFO incidents. <laughs> I'll have the link to the story down below here. Uh, what else is he here? Details of 38 papers published. Oh, the effects of field effects on biological tissues. <laughs> Oh, man, let's see. There was an article published in the Las Vegas Now in which Dr. Hal Puthoff, a scientist who worked on AATIP, was part of this program. <laughs> uh, just a moment here. I'll take care of the dog. I had a little issue this morning. Some park maintenance men were using one of our electrical outlets to run their machines to do testing on the electrical system here which not at our place but in the park and I caught them at it they knew they were wrong and so far they've removed it but they're back again so I've had to keep my eye on that you know I mean uh, if the park needs to fix something and need the power then they get themselves a, a generator portable generator and take it up don't use the tenants power that they already pay for but anyway that's the situation. That's what was making the dog bark. Okay, let's see. Back to the story here. Oh, yeah. If anybody, it's just more of this stuff about the knee. It's causing them, you know, health defects and uh, mental awareness. Uh, it's just another con to get, get on to disability. Apparently, the, you know, this whole thing about uh, white people getting on disability, or actually they say the older white males, is a response to, you know, affirmative action, which was reverse discrimination in my book. So the way people have responded to that is not getting into arguments and such, and they just create ways to get on to disability. So that's one of the last ways that the average American can actually live a nice American experience. And get on that disability. I know somebody who's getting about $2,500 a month. And get up as high as 3500 You know, that's what all these caravans are coming up here for. You know, get those benefits. And um, I say give it all to them. Give them everything they want. And when we go broke, and there's no more, they'll go away. Anyway, digressing from that, that's what this story is. I'll have a link to it. And uh, go on to another one here. That just was interesting. Uh, let's take a look here. We have another story. A little hot around here right now with this external situation taking place. And they have to keep an eye on these guys so they're not using our electricity to perform their work for the park. We get charged for that. I don't want to pay for the park's maintenance expenses. They should pay for their own. Okay, oh my gosh, we have terrified Russians in this story. Think that they are under attack as a meteor explodes. Yeah, that happens a lot. People think that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to post the link. I'll probably be reading from time to time from this page. 
Uh, I thought that one about the, the disability fraud thing with UFOs is uh, interesting. And um, so anyway, with that, we'll see you in the next clip.